In today's video, I'm gonna talk about three things you need to know about Plasasol heat transfer. Coming up. Welcome back to the Flex McKenzie channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Flex McKenzie. And in today's video, like I said, I'm going to talk about three things you need to know about Plasasol transfer. But before we get into the video, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and after the video, smash that like button. And drop me a comment and share this video now let's roll back into the video okay the first thing number one make sure the company that you're gonna order your transfer from understand that you need the transfer like from yesterday okay not you need it in two weeks make sure that they understand that part and always check up on review or let someone that you know that's in the business recommend you a transfer company because there's a lot of transfer companies out there that's not giving you quality work so make sure that the company you are ordering it from have a good review and they understand that you want that transfer like yesterday because nobody want to wait around a week or two for a transfer i've been waiting like four months from a company but i'm not gonna say which company and i still didn't receive my sample yet but i'm not gonna say what company yet and I pay five bucks to get samples. But anyway, let's roll into number two. Number two, never, never, ever just receive your transfer from a company. And if they said for you to press it, let's say as an example, they said 340 and you just heat up your, your machine and try to press it at 340. Uh, you do not want to do it because each machines are different here's what I'm talking about the companies that send you out these transfer on their machine is maybe 340 now that's just an estimate or a recommendation or whatever but you as your own company and you have your own machine you have to take part one of those transfer and you have to test the transfer to make sure it peel the proper way and how do you do this simple whenever you you order your transfer make sure there's extra one in the pack so that you could test it because sometimes you have to bump the temperature up because it may not be that 340 and sometimes you might have to bump the temperature down so you have to make sure you have an extra one where you could cut in four parts and you test it on your testing shirt to make sure that when you peel it it doesn't leave the transfer on the transfer paper you should be leaving it on your garment got what I'm trying to tell you so you always got to make sure you do your test first before you jump because my machine I cannot use the exact same temperature that a company tell me to use. I have to either bump it up or bump it down. You know, it, it just it just doesn't work always like that because that's what's on their machine. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Test, test, test your transfer before you actually try to print it on your customer garment or you're gonna mess that bad boy up now let's roll into a three number three I always see people out there online asking why they are messing up their transfer why because you don't have one of these bad boys you see it that bad boy call a heat temperature gun 
you have to have one of these bad boy where you could test your heat press to make sure it's spitting out the right temperature. And I'm tired of telling you the same thing. You have to have one of these. Get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> you must have a heat temperature gun because that's the only way you're gonna know if your your machine is spitting out the right temperature that you need with this it will tell you the temperature it may not be a hundred percent accurate these are not a hundred percent accurate you know don't let anybody tell you that these are accurate a hundred percent but it's very good enough to give you an idea of what your machine is reading so you must get yourself a heat temperature gun I'll put a link down below so you have no excuses why you don't have one of these bad boys you could get it off of Amazon but for one like this see it? yeah uh-huh bah, bah, bah. you will get one from Amazon so remember you have to have one of these so let's continue and roll into some other footage okay so I'm about to press a t-shirt and this is my transfer that um, I got this transfer from Pro World and this transfer I have to um, press it for 390 degrees right so it has to be pressed at 390 but on my heat press I have the Pro World I have the Pro World Pro Training Am I right? Yeah, Pro World Pro Tranic. I have a 15 by 15. So I'm going to be pressing this transfer on it today. And it's, um, it's 390, like I said, and it's for 12 seconds. But I have to bump my machine up at least 5 degrees higher because I know that will be like the correct temperature. Now, if I were to go exactly at 390 it may not peel the right way so I have to bump it up so that's your lesson you have to make sure you know the temperature of your machine you have to make sure you know that it's giving out the correct temperature that you need so if you need to bump it up bump it down whichever one hey you have to know now let's get into see me press this t-shirt Okay, so my temperature is at the correct temperature that I need it to be at three, 390. Okay, it's at 390 now, but I set my machine at 395. Remember, whenever you use a, um, whenever you use transfer, you really don't need, you really don't need to cover it with a Teflon, but it's up to you. Sometime I use it, sometime I don't. Let's go. So it's 12 seconds and it's up. And I give it an extra two, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wham! I'm in your face. But listen, if you're getting any value out of this, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and after the video, I want you to smash that like button for me and share this video. Now let's get back to the video. That's what it looks like. Looking good. <laughs> now this is the shirt that I just finished. This is going out to a customer. Yeah, these are some popular shirt that I'm selling. Yes, these are always going out. No, I didn't design this. I got this from Pro World. Okay, so now, you know, you guys know I put the tag on the back of my shirt, but you guys already know how I heat press my logo on the back and on the inside. I also put um, the size and I put my company um, website on the inside, but you guys see me do all that, I think. So you don't need to see me um, go over that. But for this shirt, they said to press it at 390 I believe 390 to 400 so what I did I went in between that I went to 395 
five to press this bad boy. And guess what? My machine was reading at 395. Uh, I'm sorry, my machine was reading at 390, even though I set it at 395. But I was using my heat temperature gun at all times. So that's why I'm telling you, you need to use your heat temperature gun. In that case, you never have a messy transfer. Dig it? <laughs> Okay, so I got a bonus tip for everyone out there who use a heat press. If it's not accurate, like let's say the Hotronic who is always on point, well, here's a tip. Your heat press, the hottest part, usually is in the front of it. On the back of your heat press is usually the coolest part. So what I'm trying to say, if you put your shirt down, make sure you try to bring it forward instead of back because back is usually you know the part where the temperature is always lower and the front is the part that heats that bad boy up so that's your tip bonus tips anyway i really hope you like my little bonus tip that i gave you about the heat press that the front is usually hotter than the back so don't stick your transfer all the way in the back unless you're using like a machine like let's say the hot tronic hot tronic is always on point i have one of those bad boys but i can't really use it because it will shut the neighborhood down <laughs> so anyway if you're new here please subscribe to the channel hit that notification button and the video is over so smash that like button and share this video please drop me a comment down below and also if you want some great design shirt or wording or customized shirt you could visit my website at www.comfortstyles.com or you could go to www.eliteasylum.com they all lead to the same place so again thank you and happy new year let's make this a wonderful year i'm out